Hi, my name is Anton Pelcher. I'm an engineer and I have been constructing fish farms for more than 10 years. In this video, I'm going to tell you about 7 specific ways to increase the profitability of a RAS fish farm. Be sure to watch this video to the end, and you will find not only the methods, but also the numbers that you can include in your business plan. Perhaps you are now thinking of building a farm, or maybe you are already farming fish. Anyway, the 7 methods will help you increase your profitability. Method number one. And the first method is the fish processing. In fact, what is processing fish? It means that fish is processed in a certain way from agricultural products into food. For example, it can be smoked or smoked dried, processed to ready to eat food or salted. It can be even canned. Anyway, there are many options. The most important point is that as soon as you switch from selling live fish to processing, new markets will immediately open up for you because a certain number of buyers and customers are much more willing to buy processed products. For example, if you farm and sell sturgeon, as soon as you start smoking it, you'll immediately get a large number of additional buyers. Someone just wants to buy ready-made garlic, cut fillet, and cut it into slices and just eat together with the family. Well, not every customer is ready to buy live sturgeon, then process it somehow or cook it, and so on. Also, processing gives an additional value to the product. For example, live wholesale sturgeon costs around 9 US dollars, and retail sturgeon costs 12 to 13 US dollars. As soon as you process it, for example, for smoke dry, its cost immediately rises to about 28 US dollars. Yes, we have certain losses during processing. But anyway, if we recalculate the life weight per kilogram, the sales price covers all potential costs. What do you need to organize your own fish processing department? First, as soon as you move from live fish to processing, it's important to understand that you are no longer selling agricultural products, but a food product. That's why there are additional regulations on the part of local regulatory authorities. It's important to understand that the processed product falls under certain additional requirements. This is not a big deal. You just need to go through this process. The processing department can consist of various elements, but the simplest departments are just rooms with smokehouses that include cutting processing line and refrigerators. Basically, in order to organize your own small processing department, it's enough to withstand fairly simple requirements for premises, placement and equipment that the regulatory authorities impose. Then you will receive the appropriate documents in order to be able to process fish and sell processed fish. All this can cost from hundreds to tens of thousands US dollars, depending on which processing department you want to put in place. But the simplest option is about 1,400 to 2,800 US dollars. This option allows to cover all your tasks. By the way, if you set yourself a more productive processing line, then you can also buy someone else's fish to process and sell it. Thereby, you can increase the turnover and expand product line at the expense of other kinds of fish. And if you also like smoked fish, hit thumbs up button. Ok, let's go on! Method number 2. The next thing is farming your own fry, your own planting material. What is it for? It also increases profitability. If you buy a sturgeon fry, say it 40 to 50 cents each, then get in your own fry, you don't incur any additional costs, except for certain manipulations with the broadstock. So, you get a high-quality fry, practically for free with minimal cost, and at any time of the year. Therefore, farming fry increases the profitability of your ass. And by the way, additionally, if you grow your own fry, you can grow it in larger quantities and sell to third-party customers, thereby earning extra money on the sale of the same fry. To grow your own fry, you need incubation and larval departments. They consist of incubators and a larval block consisting of trays or small tanks in which you have lava. If you put this department, it occupies a relatively small area. It's maybe 10 to 20% of the total area of the farm. Then you will have your own planting material, which you can both use yourself and sell. The organization of such department costs from 1,400 US dollars and up to several hundred thousands, depending on the capacity. 
because the amount of equipment used is determined by how much fry you need to grow at a time. And this is a question of the total capacity of the farm and your desire to sell. Well, on average, this increases the amount of the total investment by about 10 to 20 percent. No more. Method number three. Automation. We can supply additional equipment that will constantly, continuously monitor water parameters, monitor the operation of RAS. This way you will be able to minimize the number of staff required on the farm. You can also automate the process of fish relocation. You can automate feeding processes. You can automate the processes of measuring water parameters, as well as monitoring the operation of equipment. If all this is applied on a small farm, usually result is not so obvious. But if you have a medium or large farm, you can really reduce the number of staff. I know cases when, for example, in Europe, in Denmark, they just leave overnight, lock up the farms with capacity of 2.5 thousand tons of trout, which are very large farms. They just leave at the end of the day. And that's it. The reason is there is a good quality automation system there, which will immediately give a signal at any failure. If it doesn't correct the situation, it will call a special person who will come and fix everything. Actually, automation allows to save at least 30 to 50 percent on staff remuneration, which in principle is a very significant amount. Thus, automation contributes to higher productivity. Method number four. The fourth method. It's suitable only for medium and large farms. But nevertheless, I will tell you about it. It's good if you have or are planning to build a large farm. If you have a site with a main gas, be sure to think about a co-generating gas power plant, because this installation allows to reduce electricity and heating costs by three to four times. Imagine the average cost of a kilowatt of electricity is 10 cents per kilowatt. If you set yourself a cogeneration gas power plant, the price per kilowatt of electricity generated will be about 3 cents, and at the same time you will also receive a free heat source from the cooling system of this unit. Just imagine, kilowatts are three times cheaper, and at the same time it still generates free or almost free heat. I think this is a very good option and such an installation pays back in two years. Method number 5. The fifth method is aquaponics. This is not exactly a standard solution, but nevertheless it can increase the profitability of your fish farm. What's the point? Aquaponics is the cultivation of plants on water in rust. How does it work? In fact, plants are an additional filter for water. That is, they additionally purify water from nitrates, and at the same time, these same nitrates are food for plants. It turns out that not only do they additionally clean the water, they grow without the use of additional chemicals or reagents. That is, you simply supply part of the water to plants, put a certain lighting system for plants, and plants grow without additional reagents and any additives. Often, the benefit from the aquaponics system can equal or even exceed the profit from the sale of fish, provided that everything is organized correctly. But it's important to understand here that you will definitely need extra space, because in general, the aquaponics system is three to five times larger in area than the area of the RAS itself. That's why you will need either a second floor, or additional separate buildings, or just additional areas. For example, we personally had partners who, along with the cultivation of sturgeon, cultivated basil, strawberries, and several other plant crops, and the profit from the sale of these plants exceeded the profit from the sale of fish. Therefore, the aquaponics system is also a slightly more complex solution, since it requires extra space and lighting systems, but it can still be considered to increase the profitability of the recirculating aquaculture system. Method number six. The sixth method is holding. What is it? In fact, it's either a separate system or your existing fish holding tanks. You import fish from the third party suppliers there, keep it for a short period, you don't farm fish there. You hold it for a week or two, maybe a month, and then you sell it. 
For example, you buy wholesale and sell retail. If you have an underutilized farm, you can use existing pools. Or if you have areas, you can add a holding system. And in principle, import any live fish there from any fish farm within a radius of 500 kilometers and sell it to your retail customers. Thus, your assortment expands and additional profit appears, with a difference from wholesale purchases and retail sales. Holding can increase the profitability of your fish farm by 20 to 40 percent. Method number seven. The seventh method is online delivery. Imagine, you are in a city with a population of more than 500,000 people, where internet orders are common. You post your ads on certain websites or let contextual advertising traffic, traffic from Facebook, Instagram, and you receive additional retail orders naturally at a higher price than wholesale. For example, wholesale price for sturgeon is 9 US dollars, retail for sturgeon is 12 to 13 US dollars, and including delivery, it even reaches 15 US dollars per kilogram. Thus, first you get an additional sales channel, and second, an increase in your marginality and overall profitability of your business. For example, with retail sales, you increase the total profit of fish farm by 10 to 30 percent. Of course, there are advertising and marketing costs, but this 10 to 30 percent are already indicated after deducting these costs. And if you are planning your fish farm business and considering a business plan, or maybe even already building your farm, be sure to leave your contacts at the link below, and we will send you a detailed economic calculation in which you can add additional sources of profit, thereby increasing the profitability of the entire business. My name is Anton Pelcher. Hit thumbs up button and subscribe. We grow fish and earn good money.